a particle of charge Q and mass m starts moving from the origin under the action of an electric field E is equal to E naught I cap B is B naught I cap magnetic field is also parallel to the x axis with the velocity V equal to V naught J cap. So initial velocity is given along the y axis. Suppose this is our x axis and here it is y axis. Then electric field and magnetic field both are directed in this direction. So E naught and B naught are the corresponding fields which are parallel to the x axis and initial velocity given to the particle is purely along the y axis. So V naught is the initial velocity given along the y axis to the particle. The speed of the particle will become 2 V naught after a time. So we have to calculate the time after which the velocity becomes 2 V naught. So first of all, one thing that you should understand that magnetic field cannot change speed of body. Why? Because on the charged particle, it always acts perpendicular to the velocity as well as perpendicular to on its own because formula is F is equal to Q V cross B. Okay, so magnetic force is always perpendicular to the velocity means perpendicular to the displacement. So its work done is going to remain zero. So here we can understand that the only reason for change in speed can be the electric field. And the other point here you can note that initial velocity as you can see that is along the y axis and magnetic field is along the x axis then by curling our right hand fingers from velocity vector towards the B vector we get the magnetic force inward. You can clearly see that using the right hand rule the magnetic force is inward that means along the z axis. That means in this case the movement along the z axis will be caused by the magnetic field. While at the same time, the electric field can cause motion only along the x axis. Initial velocity is along the y axis. So the particle will move something like that, but it will be moving inward also at the same time along the z axis because it is a, it will be a three dimensional kind of motion. But we have to consider the change in speed etc. So we can altogether forget the movement along the z axis because of the magnetic force. We can altogether forget the magnetic force in this particular calculation because the change of speed anyway is going to be caused by the electric field only. And one more thing that electric force since it is a constant E naught along the x axis. So acceleration will remain constant that is along the x axis. So Let's say at any instant of time the particle reaches here is the point P which coordinates are X, Y, Z. We are just writing it for the sake otherwise Z coordinate is not important here because we are neglecting the motion along the Z axis. So till this point work done by the electric force will be what? Q E naught is the electric force multiplied with the displacement in the direction of electric force. So it will be the work done by electric force. It must be equal to change in kinetic energy of the particle. So final kinetic energy is half m 2v naught square minus initial kinetic energy is half m and here it is v naught square. So what we get? Here we get 3 by 2 m v naught square is the change in kinetic energy of the particle that must be equal to the q e naught into x. Since along the x axis acceleration is constant because of this electric force then we can use the second equation of motion that since along x axis initial velocity is zero then displacement along the x axis will be ut plus half at square means just half into acceleration acceleration is q e naught by m into t square so it will be the work done by electric force and it must be equal to 3 by 2 m v naught square. So on solving this equation what you are going to get is this. So option D will be the correct option for this question.